and welcome back. We are about to go see what's in here. This is amusing. Monstrous book on the loose in there. I hope you've come to help. You're fucking prefect. You will do it. You'll earn a collector's card each time you defeat all the pages. There are five cards in all. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. Good luck. I I'd stay and help, but uh, uh I'm late. <laughs> yes, uh, very late indeed. <laughs> oh, this is a great fucking prefix. The pebble. Okay, this is along the same exact lines as um. Oh, God, this is going to be annoying. Okay, for this part, I can turn the fucking the fox down. That's all the way. I got the house. It's still incredibly loud. If I can really hear the yard at the Sampra. What side is this for one? Hawks, okay. So again, we'll look at all of those after we get done with. Speak for yourself, Hermione. <laughs> and the. So anyway, the farm fixing moments are the round Hermione one. Uh, it takes place, at least it's touched off during uh during the Deathly Hallows and it uses real moments in Ryan and Hermione were alone and as, as I was saying like it's kind of fluff but it's also not because one of the first moments they were alone was when Hermione was like just typing out of a sorry uh, and you know, I mean, she wasn't, you know, she, she was wearing clothes, but like just most candy pajama clothes that you know, you, um, run or have not seen her in before. So that was amusing. This would be three. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna play this round. So maybe cute's not the right word for it, but I think of it all. Whoa! Come on now! I can't help it if Ron dies. I can't control fucking Ron. What's that bullshit? I've never fucking seen that before. I've played this game like six, seven, eight times, and I've never fucking had that happen to me before. No, fucking... Oh, you sitting me! Okay, run! Seriously, not what happened before. That does take away a nice chunk of house, that's it. We're not even getting a life bar here. Uh, you're not fucking dying again. Come on now. At least the pixie escape is the fucking life bar. Come on. I think there was a reason I hated this fucking mod. If we can finish off that monster, we'll earn the last card in the set. Wow. Frankly, I don't feel like I could do that again, but I do want this last card. <sighs> Fine. Let's get the last card in the hawk set. Oh, 
If you fucking die again, Ron, I'll call you. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm concentrating right now. This is annoying. It's loud. It's repetitive. Oh. I guess me grabbing a chocolate frog for me grabs them for everyone. I didn't realize that before now. Okay, but I don't have any left, so... I bought to... These two things take a nice chunk of health away. Come on! About time. Oh, and that's a great line. So much for the monster book of monsters. It's a bit sad, really. Seems like we should have tried to tame it. <laughs> oh, thanks so much for grabbing the fucking cloud. Here is the hawk sad. Also based on our fairy tales. A lot of them. Baba Yaga. What Medieval was that? Baba Yaga. Medieval dates unknown. Russian hag who dwelled in a hut that stood on giant chicken legs, ate children for breakfast, and presumably for lunch and tea. I think that's a Russian folk tale. Malodora Grimm. Medieval. Dates unknown. Using a beautification potion to conceal her true hag form, she married a king and used a charmed mirror to reinforce her self-image became jealous of the most beautiful girl in the land and fed her a poisoned apple. Okay, so there are two here that confuse me. I think that's supposed to be Sleeping Beauty, but I confuse it with another one. Uh, this one, I'll get to that in a second. Cordelia Misericordia, 1298 to 1401. Hag representative at 14th century summit of Wizards Council. Okay, I'm sorry, I have to hear the name again. He pronounced it so fucking wild. I would have spotted that so bad. Cordelia Misericordia. Misericordia. 98 to 4. Leticia Somnolens. Medieval. Dates unknown. This spiteful hag was jealous of the king's daughter and caused her to prick her finger on a spindle tainted with a draught of the living death. A young wizard who had smeared his lips with Wiganweld potion kissed the princess and brought her out of her trance. Yes, she. See, I must be confusing things. Here's one, the only thing I know about, um... Was it Sleeping Beauty in the Southern Jorths? Jorths? Was... Was that somebody else in the Southern Jorths? Jor so... If I thought... If I'm not mistaken how the story goes... Well, the only thing that I remember was like the 1930s animation movie, which by the way, I fucking... It's been years since I've watched it, but I love that movie. I really do. I laughed there as a kid anyway. I should actually probably hand up and try to find that again. Um. So, I thought, so she eats the poison apple, then she goes into the trance. Then, what it says here, for somebody else, um, a prince, uh, somebody kisses her and brings her out of the trance. I thought that was Sleeping Beauty. Is this, like, Separating two things, or is this from another one of those old, um, tales? That conf see, that confuses me. It's just, it's not, I, I'm sure it's not wrong, it's just me not knowing. Old Mother Hubbard. Medieval. Dates unknown. Lured stray animals into her home and starved them to death. Yeah, no wonder hearts have a bad fucking name. I mean, seriously. Malodora Grimm, Medieval, uh, Dates Baba Yaga, Leticia Somnolens. Yeah, four, four, four out of five of those gave hags a really, really bad fucking name. Of course, like, I'm sure they were written by witches and witches, so they probably did represent hags fairly, but still. 
Okay, now a few charms. One of my favorite lap. God, we should. We'd better get on to charms class. God, we're already so close to the end of the game. Let's do this. Hello, class. I'm Professor Flitwick. Welcome to charms. Today, we will learn a very useful freezing charm called Glacius. Let's see. Who would like to demonstrate? Harry Potter, just the fellow. About time I get to do something. If you'd like to step through this door, we can begin the Glacius Challenge. Ah, I forgot about the salamanders. Glacius is useful for freezing a number of things, Harry. Let's begin with an Amazonian salamander. Amazonian? Take care now, Harry. You'll need to eliminate both the creature and its fire. Give it a try. The the same principle is used in the for is in the goblet of fire. Like you. Ah, uh, dang. Although the principle is a little harder to um. For it, it, it's it, it's not as easy as what I just did. Okay, I in this challenge I know I I've been known to miss things. Okay, there are. Let me see the wizard cards. I know what type these are. Okay, I should find five goblins. I, I like these goblin cards. The ugly. Goblin representative at 14th century summit of wizards council. I'm happy they had a representative. Over 2,000 beans. Now, Harry, see if you can use the glacier spell to freeze this flowing water. Glacier! Excellent! Wow! It's solid iron! No shit, Harry! Bit, Harry. Time to go for a slide. <laughs> Just use the left oh. and right arrow keys to turn. Press the up arrow to go faster and the down arrow to slow down. Mm. I'll see you at the end of the challenge. So I've joked that uh, the basilisk before, you know, Harry, you know, bored him. I mean, to be fair, your self defense was tall. Okay, that slows down. Ah. Uh, like, used to slide around these ice slides for fun. I can just see the basilisk having a jolly old time, like, going down these ice slides. Talk about an amusing fun fiction that would be. Really? Oh. Yeah, in Goblet of Fire, you actually have to hold it down to hit those things out. Oh, oh. That I just got lucky. Okay, yes, thirty one out of eighty cards are ready. Olgaf the awful. Foul smelling goblin nuisance. Well known throughout the goblin world for trying to sell files of his sweat to a dung bomb manufacturer. Huh. Okay. Uh let me do this. No, mother f Ooh. Oh Oh good timing. Uh, I'll stop the video here. We'll continue with more ice slides. Uh, really, 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 Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.